Alright you guys, so I'm here to talk about Austin Powers International Man of Mystery. Uh, cause why the fuck not? It's Austin Powers. I was gonna review these movies anyway, at some point in time. So, why not do it now? Um, so, Austin Powers International Man of Mystery came out in 1997. I'm not gonna do a British accent the whole review. But, anyways, came out in 1997. It's basically, if you don't know the plot of Austin Powers, I wanna explain a little bit to you. It's basically about this shagadelic hipster spy named Austin Powers. And, like I said, he's a spy and he's trying to take down Dr. Evil, who is his arch nemesis. And in the beginning of the movie, he gets cryogenically frozen for 30 years. I got to see if my bits and pieces are still working. Um, I'm not going to do impressions either. Okay, I'm going to do impressions. That's, that's going to happen, all right? Um, so, yeah. Austin Powers and Dr. Evil were both cryogenically frozen for 30 years. Dr. Evil comes back, so they have to unfreeze Austin Powers to stop Dr. Evil from uh, releasing this nuclear warhead um, upon the world. Um, and this movie is starring Mike Myers, Elizabeth Hurley, I think is her name. Uh, let me just double check here. Yeah, Elizabeth Hurley, Michael York, Mimi Rogers, Seth Green, and yeah. Let's talk about Austin Powers International Man of Mystery. What I think of Austin Powers International Man of Mystery is it's a comedy classic. It is. It is a so quotable, so funny comedy. And this really, Austin Powers is a James Bond spoof movie. It's not really listed as a spoof movie, but it is. Austin Powers is, in fact, a James Bond spoof. That's all it is. Um... Let's take a look at Dr. Evil. He's a clear parody of Donald Pleasance's uh, villain that he had in that one Bond movie that I can't remember. I can't remember what Bond movie Donald Pleasance was in as the villain. But it's clearly a spoof of that. Um, and Mike Myers is playing both Austin Powers and Dr. Evil. Now let's talk about the cast. Mike Myers, first off, let's talk about Mike Myers' Austin Powers. Awesome. Hilarious. But what's even more hilarious is his is his portrayal as Doctor Evil. Um, yeah, he just you could yes you could tell it's played by the same guy, but they are two totally separate characters. Uh, it really is kind of black and white with these two characters. Elizabeth Hurley as Vanessa, Vanessa Kensington. Yeah, baby. Um, she's all right, I guess. I mean, didn't really have too much of a problem with her, but she's definitely not like the best part of this movie or anything. And Seth Green is playing Scott Evil, which is Dr. Evil's son, which was made from his frozen sperm. Remember when we froze your sea, man? You said if it didn't look like you were coming back, we should try to make you a son. Well, after a couple of years, we got a little impatient. Dr. Evil, I want you to meet your son. My son? Yeah. Scott! <laughs> it's a bad Frau Farbissina. Um... But, <laughs> alright, so, uh, like I said, the comedy in this movie is fucking genius. It's hilarious, it's really quotable if you couldn't tell, or maybe I just, I'm really like that with movies, which I am. But, yeah, Austin Powers, it was one of the comedies, it was one of the movies that I played on repeat when the VHS tapes all the time. I had all three of these movies on VHS, then I got them on DVD, so... Yeah, um, Austin Powers. Let's talk about some of the other characters. I already talked about Dr. Evil a little bit, but li like I said, Dr. Evil is by far my favorite character in these movies, no question. Frau Frau Bissner, she's like Dr. Evil's right-hand woman. She's like his assistant kind of thing. Then we have number two. His number two man, his name, number two. For 30 years, number two has run for Chikon, the head of my evil empire. Um, but yeah... Number two, he's a businessman. Yes, he works for Dr. Evil. Yes, he's part of this evil organization. Um, but he, he's ultimately a businessman. He's like, look, Dr. Evil, we're going to rise stocks of this company while we do all this evil stuff. <laughs> That's number two's thing. So I like number two. I like Frau Frau Bissena. Let's talk about Patty O'Brien, who leaves a good luck charm on every victim he kills. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he, he's hardly in the movie, he's fine. Then we have Will Ferrell. 
in this movie very briefly. He's not in the movie much. He's playing uh, Mustafa. I'll talk about him a little bit more in the next Austin Powers review. But, yeah, he's fucking hilarious in this movie. And Dr. Evil tries to kill him. He, like, sends his chair down, like, to a furnace area. And you can just hear Will Ferrell. And you're like, uh, I, I, I know no one can see me, but I'm badly, badly burned. Uh... <laughs> He's, you know, he's doing all this stuff. Like I said, I'll talk about this more in the second one. But, yeah, Austin Powers is absolutely hilarious. And Austin Powers himself, because I felt like I've been using this whole review talking about Dr. Evil. So let's talk about Austin Powers for a minute here. Austin Powers, he, you know, the 60s was his era. All right, that was the era he was in his prime. Now he's in the 90s. He's learning how to deal with life in the 90s because so many things, things have changed in the last 30 years. Um... Yeah, so he's trying to deal with how to live in the 90s and how to stop Dr. Evil all at the same time. And he just him watching him adapt to the 90s is hilarious. He's watching all these documentaries of stuff he's missed over the last 30 years. And, you know, he doesn't get the fact that there's no more really free love anymore. Like, you kind of have to ask a girl's permission, which is blasphemy, to have sex. But, yeah, um... <laughs> Do I make you horny, baby? Randy, do I make you horny, baby? Yeah, do I? <laughs> um, oh, he has this great scene with Tom Arnold in this movie. I'm not going to explain what it was or what it is. I want you guys to watch this movie. It's fucking hilarious. But it involves a casino and a bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It's fucking hilarious. I'm cracking myself up just thinking about it. Then there's... I'll talk about this more as we go along, but there's a recurring joke in these movies. Obviously, it starts off in this one because this is the first movie. No shit. Um, but there's always a woman with a very sexual but weird name. In this one, we have a chick who's, whose name is Alata Vagina. Come again, Alata Vagina. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just not getting it. It sounds like you said your name was a lot of, um... Never mind. Alright, so... <laughs> yeah, a lot of impressions and a lot of quotes. Let's talk about Seth Green for a second. Seth Green is in this movie, and he's playing Scott Evil. He's never met his dad. He meets his dad, and there's this great scene. Probably my favorite scene in the movie is when they're at this father-son relationship therapy kind of thing. And the therapist is played by Carrie Fisher. Princess Leia herself makes a cameo in this movie. She has a lot of cameo appearances over the years, but this one is one of my favorite ones. Um, it, yeah, so they're in this thing. <laughs> I'm probably just going to do this whole scene for you because I'm going to, and it's going to be fucking hilarious. Um, but basically, the what's going on in that scene is Scott's explaining that, look, my father, I haven't seen him my whole life, and now he just comes back and responds and expects a relationship, and, you know, I really think he's trying to kill me, and Princess Leia's all like, no, Scott, he's not trying to kill you. Sometimes we just say that, but we really don't mean it, and Dr. Evil's like, no, actually, the boy is quite astute. I really am trying to kill him, but so far, unsuccessfully, he's quite wildly like his old man. Um, and <laughs> they want to know, all right, well, Dr. Evil, tell us a little bit about you. The details of my life are quite inconsequential. Very well, where do I begin? My father was a relentless blanger owner from Belgium with a low grade narcolepsy and a penchant for buggery. My mother was a 15 year old French prostitute named Chloe with webbed feet. My father would womanize, he would drink. He'd make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. Sometimes he would accuse chestnuts of being lazy. The sort of general malaise that only the genius possess in the insane lament. My childhood was typical. Summers in Ragoon, Lose Lessons. In the spring we'd make meat helmets. When I was insolent, I was placed in a burlap bag and beaten with reeds. Pretty standard, really. The age of twelve I received my first scribe. The age of fourteen is a roastery named Vilma. Realistically shaved my testicles. There really is nothing like a shorn scrotum. It's breathtaking. I suggest you try it. And uh <laughs> So, yeah, ask me, ask me how long it took to memorize that, all right? Not very long at all. Um, but, yeah, and then you always have, like, Scott and Dr. Evil arguing with each other 
about, you know, because Scott's much smarter than Dr. Evil is. Let's, let's face facts. Dr. Evil is not exactly the smartest tool in the shed. He's, he's, he's not. Um, and Scott's like, wait a minute. You're not even going to watch them? They could get away. He's like, no, no, no. I'm going to leave them alone and not actually witness them dying. I'm just going to assume it all went to plan. What? I have a gun. In my room. You give me five seconds. I'll go get it. I'll come back out here. Boom! We'll blow their brains out. Scott, you just don't get it, do you? You don't. And then, you know. So, yeah. The, the relationship between Scott and Dr. Evil is hilarious. The relationship between Austin Powers and Dr. Evil is hilarious. The relationship between Austin Powers and Vanessa is hilarious. Hell, even his relationship between Austin Powers and Basil Exposition, who is like this. Yeah, that's that guy's name. Basil Exposition. <laughs> Hello, Austin. Basil Exposition here with British Intelligence. Hello, Basil. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, there's, there's awesome, like, every relationship with this movie is hilarious. The introduction of the Fembots, hilarious. Frau Frau Bissena, like, this movie is funny, and it's one of the movies that I watched on repeat on VHS, and I wore the VHS tape out because of how many times I watched it. I absolutely love this movie. So... What am I going to give Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery? A-. a minus. That's right. It's good. It's not A-plus material, but it's hilarious and it's funny. And there's so many good things to love about this film. I absolutely love it. And so, yeah. What do you guys think of Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery? Comment your thoughts on the video down below in the comment section. Like the video. Share and subscribe. Just do it.